The deepest mine ever constructed in Europe is about to be turned into a giant battery. One of the biggest batteries that humankind has ever seen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. One of the amazing things about technology is we can take old things that are, well, basically completely useless and turn them into things of immense value. A company in the United Kingdom is going to convert the deepest mine in all of Europe into its first ever gravity battery. Once a production hub of zinc and copper, this mine will now store renewable energy and supply it on demand to the grid. Work on converting Europe's formerly biggest and deepest mine is, has begun apparently. The 4,737 feet deep, that's 1,444 meters, mine is located in the Finnish capital of Helsinki. Well, actually it's located at about 280 miles north of Helsinki in Finland. Owned by Canadian firm First Quantum Minerals, the deepest mine in Europe, it was the source of zinc and copper. In fact, it was the biggest employer in Finland for some time, providing 600 direct jobs. In August of 2022, production from the mine officially ceased, following which the community began um, trying to find things to do with this land. You can't build houses on it. And well, they came up with a really good one. We can take advantage of the best of the region's electricity grid and transformation of the energy market, said Henrique. Kivanimi, CEO of local development company Calio, told the engineer, it is also very attractive to take advantage of these opportunities for energy intensive industry to be located here, utilizing also the good logistical location uh, of where the mine actually is. It's not that far away from um, the city of Helsinki and the city of Helsinki needs energy storage. This is where gravity based batteries are perfect. You know, you can create plenty of energy during the daylight with solar panels and obviously wind generation as well, and you can store it for when it's needed. Edinburgh-based Gravi Tri City has developed Gravi Store, a gravity-based system that can serve as a battery to store excess energy from renewable sources. On a sunny or a windy day, when solar or wind farms produce more energy than demand, uh, which is very often the case, Gravi Store stores can raise weights placed in defunct mine shafts to store the energy. During high demand, the weights can be lowered to release the energy with shaft winches serving as power generators. Depending on the requirement, the weights can be released slowly in a short burst to cater to the energy demand. So we normally think of batteries, right? We think of, you know, lithium ion batteries and we think of electrolyte and anodes and cathodes, but actually there's a, a very different kind of type of battery that's been used for thousands of years, and that's gravity batteries. Gravity Tri-City will use a 1700 foot, 530 meter auxiliary shaft to build a two megawatt prototype to demonstrate the technology, which will be the first of its kind in Europe. According to its website, Gravity Tri-City has also been working on identifying mines in other countries, such as the Czech Republic, Germany and India. So what are the advantages of a gravity-based battery? Well, for one, pretty cheap. Gravity-based energy storage systems have been attempted in various forms for centuries. They are considered feasible alternatives to lithium ion battery storage systems. Interesting. And there is actually a gravity-based energy storage project in Switzerland that took 14 years to build. It powers 1 million houses. That's, that's an insane amount of power. In comparison, Gravi Tri-City solutions use existing infrastructure such as deep mines that can be repurposed once mining um, ceases. Not only does this approach provide new employment opportunities in remote areas where these mines are located, but it also provides lithium ion battery like storage characteristics. For instance, gravity based batteries can go from zero to full power in less than a single second. It also is modular. This allows designers to tweak the battery capacity based on local conditions and 
of course, on requirements. The technology fares better than lithium-ion batteries in efficiency and costs, say the creators of the battery. Lithium-ion batteries often suffer from problems of standing losses of energy. So when it's not being used, sometimes they can lose a bit of energy when it's cold in particular. But gravity-based batteries aren't affected by the cold or the heat or by anything really. The system is also much cheaper to deploy and operate and is not limited to a finite number of cycles or over years to deliver energy storage. So these sort of gravity batteries, they don't have 15,000 cycles or 5,000 cycles. They have basically unlimited number of cycles. The full scale project will provide a pathway to other commercial projects and allow our solution to be embedded into mine decommissioning activities, offering a potential future for mines approaching the end of their life and transforming something which was kind of a dangerous hazard into something that could provide power for millions, if not hundreds of millions of people all around the world. This is pretty cool, I think. What do you guys, what do you, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.